Hi friends, welcome back to our table. Um, <clears throat> update on my husband, he's still hanging in there, he's doing okay. I mean, you know, good moments, bad moments. But right now he's 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 hanging in there. He's doing okay. Which is all I can really hope for. Um I am doing okay. I felt a little sick to my stomach last night, but it's better today. Still haven't had a fever. I, I don't know if I have it or not. <clears throat> I really don't. I did want to do something though. Because something's been bugging me since last night. When I saw... <clears throat> and they were talking about... They wanted all of them infected. Why? Why would you want everybody infected. Why? And I just want to know. Why did they want everyone infected? Why did they want everyone infected? Believe it or not, it is as simple, not necessarily that they wanted people to die. It's not that. But it is as simple as that they wanted to get everybody sick with it so then they didn't have to worry about it. But it's like nobody thought about the people that would die that got sick of it. It's like that wasn't really a thought. It wasn't a thought that they wanted people to die, to get sick and die. It wasn't like that. They wanted people to get sick, get over it. Then we've got this immunity and, and everybody can go back to work and everything is fine. It's like there was no thought of people getting sick and dying. Hey, I'm being honest with you. You know, as upset as I am about everything, if it was that they were thinking, let everybody get sick and let the weak die, I'm not even getting that. There was no thinking about dying. It was let everybody get sick so that everybody can get back to work. You know, the herd immunity thing. How did they not think that people were going to die? I'm just curious. You know? <laughs> but that's what I get. Doesn't make sense. But then nothing has. Nothing has, friends. And it's not making any more sense to me now. Um, I don't know how I feel, y'all. I really don't. One minute I'm angry, and the next minute I'm disgusted, and then I'm depressed, and then I'm sad, and then I'm happy because, hey, you know, right now maybe it looks like if we um, have the virus, maybe it's not severe. 
but then there's the fear of that can change any second. My son and daughter-in-law got the thing that you put on your finger for your oxygen level. Well, that about sent me up the wall this morning because when my husband first did it, it was 94, 93, which he said 92, you need to get him to the hospital. So I'm... <laughs> and then um, later, 96, and I'm like, it's this constant, y'all. Then he said, didn't they send him home with medication? for COVID. I said, send him home with anything. I had a number that I called. I called and um, there is nothing that they're going to give him. We are literally in uncharted waters, unknown territory, flying by the seat of our pants and not knowing what to do what to make of anything. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, friends. I almost didn't come on today, but then I was afraid that y'all would think something was terribly wrong and worry. When there's not something terribly wrong, it's just depending on what moment I'm in as to how I feel. And I did want to do the reading on the cards because I had sinister feelings that they were intentionally trying to kill people. Well, they weren't. Death never entered their mind. It's let them all get sick so then they can go back to work. There was no thinking of people dying. I don't know what's worse. <laughs> thinking and knowing people would die or not thinking and knowing. Anyway, uh, my brain can't handle what other people thought, didn't think. I, I don't really care at this moment. Um, so this is day four of my COVID nightmare. And it is a nightmare from one moment to the next. It is a friggin' nightmare. If for whatever reason I don't come on, please don't worry, because I really didn't feel like coming on. Not that I'm sick, I'm just I'm irritated. And, and I'm frustrated. Just all this negative stuff that I don't want. Anyway, until the next time, friends. Thanks.